What is going on, my Game Maker enthusiasts? It's Real Touch Gmail here, back with another Game Maker tutorial. And today, what we're going to be doing is starting up a new series on Juicy Effects, right? So, I really believe that this series is going to be highly beneficial to anybody watching that is not not like you know a pro pro at this, uh, but it's for the developer that can make games but don't really know how to add in those awesome effects that really make it pop. So, that's what we're going to be doing in this series. So, let me, let me go and run it. I went ahead and created a very, very, very basic platformer game. Uh, the idea is to just run left to right and uh, get the flag and you win the game. Very simple, you know, you got some very standard collision going and uh, everything's golden. You got the camera moving you, all of that fun stuff. But what we're going to be doing in the series is turning this game, no level changes, um, we're going to be turning this game into a highly uh, juicy pop game that somebody might actually want to play, besides for this bore fest of blocks and uh, just jumping left and right through these blocks. So today what we're going to be doing is we are going to be looking into an algorithm called tweening. And we're going to be using tweening a lot in this series because it really does add to that effect. Uh, and we're going to be using it with the camera, alright? So, as you can see, the camera here, it does follow our player and it does do what we want. But is this really the best way to do it? Well, again, it does do what we want, but I don't think this is the best way to do it. We can actually make it so that it even the camera movement is a little better, it looks smoother, everything is golden. And that's going to be using our tweening algorithm today. So we are using views in GameMaker to actually use, uh, you know, to actually follow our player, but we're not going to be doing uh, that today. So in our room, go ahead and go to the views tab here, and uh, or whatever game you're using. And don't make it follow a player, but you do want to enable views and visible room starts because we are going to be using this view, view zero at, still. All right, what we're going to be doing is go ahead and go into the create a script here. And I'm going to call this camera movement. And this camera movement here is just going to follow our player. So the tween algorithm basically goes like this. X plus equals, now don't actually do this, target minus x times a constant. That's the tweening algorithm right there. So what this actually does is it's going to move our x position, say right now, to this target, but as it moves closer, it's going to actually smoothen and slow down the closer it gets to the target. And that's depending on the constant is how smooth we actually use that. So what I'm going to say is view underscore x view 0 plus equals and now here we're going to put in our um, x minus room width or no, I'm sorry view underscore w view divided by 2. Um, do, 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 plus view underscore x view zero plus view underscore w view divided by two uh, minus view underscore x view zero uh, I think that should be do, 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 do. let's check here I need that another parenthesis right there and we multiply it by 0 0.1 Okay, actually no, let's do 0 0.2 just for this. Actually 0 0.5, let's try 0 0.5. So this right here would be the algorithm for setting up a uh, nice uh, camera movement system. So let's go and run it. I don't even know if it works now. Actually, we need to actually go into our player here and put it into the step event. So camera movement. All right. All right, so let's go and run it. compile there and as you can see now we're in the room oh actually you know what that doesn't 
doesn't quite do what I wanted to do. Okay. All right, I see. Uh, let's go ahead and go back into the camera movement here. It's just a slight problem with the algorithm. Let's go ahead and take out view underscore x view and just have this in here. So we should just have x minus view underscore w view zero divided by two. All right, so let's go ahead and run that now and see if that works. Hopefully it works. Okay. Yep. Okay, so it does work. So as you can see, now we have some camera movement that actually um, kind of like snaps on and off of you, but is very smooth at the same time. And I think this is a lot better than our original camera movement uh, code. And we can also just mess with these values here by changing this. So if I say 0 0.05, which would be half of what we had before, you should know that. Now we're going to get a later camera movement snapping to our player. So there we go. Go ahead and like, go and subscribe. Um, yeah, check out, uh, subscribe if you want to see more of these. And I will, of course, see you guys next time. All right, peace.